In this video I give you 4 tips on how to potty train your border collie puppy. These 4 tips are not the standard tips you'll find in other YouTube videos like you should use a dog crate. Nevertheless, using a dog crate is good advice but I want to give you something different you've never heard of before so you can work on that thing with your border collie puppy. These 4 tips come directly from my book How to House Train Your Puppy The Ultimate Guide which I wrote in cooperation with 24 dog trainers and dog experts. Hi. My name is Robin and I'm the owner of the website PuppyBee.com and I'm here to help you prepare for your puppy in the best way possible so you know what to expect and what to do when you get a puppy. Besides my book How to House Train Your Puppy The Ultimate Guide I've written three other puppy training books and I've written these four books in cooperation with over 30 well-known dog trainers. And again, these four tips I'm going to share with you in this video come directly from my book How to House Train Your Puppy The Ultimate Guide. My first tip for you is to take your butter collie puppy outside immediately. Also when your puppy is still 8 to 12 weeks old. What do I mean with this? Well, some vets still advise not to take your puppy outside until it has received all its vaccinations. That will mean your puppy can only pee in the garden to prevent it being infected by other dogs. This in turn would mean that your pup is not allowed to leave your home and garden for up to 12 weeks, resulting in an insecure and anxious dog. The second socialization stage of a puppy's life covers the period between 8 and 12 weeks of age. During this crucial period, puppies need to be socialized to fit in with society. They need to gain positive experiences with the things they will encounter later on in life. If you never let your puppy get familiar with traffic for instance, you run a serious risk of having it respond anxiously to all traffic later on. In short, it would be very harmful to restrict your body collie's puppy's world to just your home and garden over the period between 8 and 12 weeks of age. Besides this is good practice for socializing your puppy, it is also very good for house training your body collie puppy. You probably prefer that your puppy will pee and poop outside rather than inside or in your garden. So why not take it outside immediately instead of letting it pee and poop in your garden first. If you would like to know the 12 steps for making your puppy pee and poop outdoors as this is your main end goal in potty training your border collie puppy please follow the 12 steps I explain in this YouTube video. I have a link to that YouTube video in the description below this video on YouTube. These 12 steps are perfectly suited for 8 week old border collie puppies. But before you go over to that video, please let me continue with my second tip of this video. My second tip for you is to stop using the confusing rules of thumb. Some people use a rule of thumb in puppy house training regimes. An example of such rules of thumb is the following. A 2 month old border collar puppy can retain urine for 3 hours. And for every month that it ages, add 1 hour to this number. This means that when your butter collie aged 3 months, it can wait for 4 hours before having to pee. Despite what may be roughly accurate in general, the best advice is not to use a rule of thumb when rearing pups, including house training regimes. Every single dog is unique and all sorts of different factors affect the pace of the house training process. If you do operate by a rule of thumb, you run the risk of focusing too heavily on that rule. If your puppy should somehow pee inside the house, you are likely to think that something is wrong with it, which will not help the process of rearing your puppy. On top of this, there are dozens of factors influencing the length of the time that any puppy can go without a pee. Consider fluid intake for instance, or the metabolic rate of its body, or the level of activity and anxiety it experiences. It is by no means exceptional for an 8 week old puppy to need to pee after only 20 minutes of intense activity. On the other hand, puppies may well sleep the entire night without having to go if they are resting peacefully. So in conclusion, do not use a rule of thumb when house training your butter collie puppy. Have you just had a play session with your puppy? Take it outside first before putting him back in the dog crate. Running, walking and playing will result in your puppy having to pee much sooner than expected according to the rule of thumb. My third tip for you is to find the dullest place close to your home for your butter collar puppy to pee and poop during his first week. Why dull you wonder? Well many people ask me all the time how can a puppy that's just been walked pee indoors only 5 minutes later. 
A thing to keep in mind is a puppy's endless curiosity. As you take it for a walk, it is usually so focused on its surroundings that if you don't give it a clear opportunity to pee or to go poop, you run the risk of allowing it to forget all about nature's call. Once you get home, it calms down and suddenly realizing why you went for a walk in the first place. Try to imagine yourself in a situation. You wouldn't be able to take a whiz with everyone around you watching you because you would be too tense. You would be much more relaxed if you went to the toilet and focused on the task at hand all by yourself. And this is the reason you want your pup to get bored and relax, making it realize that it needs to pee and poop. Any place in your immediate surroundings that provides minimum distractions will do. During the first week, use the same boring spot as often as you can to teach the pup where it can and should answer nature's call. Repeatedly visiting the same spot makes it even more boring for your puppy, causing it to switch attention to peeing even sooner. If you notice that it's working out nicely, you can start looking for a second airing space. Try to find more and more different airing spots to teach your body color puppy to relieve itself in different places. On the grass, in the sand, on the gravel and even on the pavement if you're living in an urban area without a spot of green nearby. My fourth tip for you is to not leave a puppy of 8 weeks home alone for longer than 2 hours on end because you run the risk of having a pee or poop indoors. Many people wonder how long they can leave a puppy home alone because they need to get back to their full-time jobs a few weeks or even a few days after taking a puppy into their home. It's best to take a vacation of a minimum of 3 weeks to cover the initial arrival of your new puppy. When you need to get back to your job after you could also consider a dog walking service or you could ask a friend, neighbor or a family member to walk your puppy when you're not around. You need to remember that puppies have small bladders and because of that they need to pee very often. That is why it's so important to consistently stick to the walking schedule. You can download my walking, sleep and eating schedule for free I specifically created for you and your Bar Color puppy. My puppy schedule has been downloaded thousands of times already by my Dutch audience as I have a similar YouTube channel in the Netherlands where I also help new puppy owners. You can find a link to the free Bartokoli walking schedule in the description below or you can go to my website puppybee.com. In these other videos I talk about potty training your puppy in the winter, in an apartment, whether or not you can house train your puppy in 5 days, my advice on potty training at night and much more. You can find a link to the complete potty training checklist on YouTube in the description below this video. Well there you have it, my 4 tips plus 1 bonus tip on body training your body color puppy. To quickly summarize these 4 tips, the first tip, take your body color puppy outside immediately, also when your puppy is still 8 to 12 weeks old. And we do this because it is very important to socialize your puppy immediately with traffic and such. The second tip, Stop using the confusing rule of thumb. Every dog is unique and each day is different. Instead of focusing a rule of thumb, focus on your dog and act accordingly. The third tip is to find the dullest place close to your home for your border color puppy to pee and poop during its first week. This will prevent it to pee inside after your walk 5 minutes later. And the last tip, the fourth tip, do not leave a puppy of 8 weeks home alone for longer than 2 hours on end because you run the risk of having a pee or poop indoors. You walk your body color puppy 4 times a day, but you could be taking it for a pee and poop for as many as 14 times a day, walks included. And also my last bonus tip, check out my 7 other videos on potty training your puppy with lots of different tips. You find the links to all those videos in the description below this video. If you have any questions related to potty training your body color puppy, please leave a comment below. And if you don't have any questions, you can still leave a comment below. It never hurts to say hi. Also, please click the like button if you find this video of any value to you. And if you didn't find any value in this video, then please let me know as well. I would like to know whether or not I'm doing a good job here. And lastly, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the big red subscribe button so you won't miss my next video next Thursday. Every Thursday there's a new video related to puppy training. Also, please visit my website puppybee.com for more information about puppy training. I wish you all the best with your border color puppy and make sure you enjoy every single moment. And thanks for watching my video and I'll see you next time.